three, two. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, John. <laughs> three, eight, two. Three, three, two. Table 
And Joe Nardi, for many nights, slept me in that camp. And I think of my family, my mom, Greg and Glenn, supported me always. Everyone in here tonight, the front of the round camp, camp is the best. And uh, summertime, camp can get really hot. <laughs> This award is for 20 years consecutive. First camp in 1998. I have some very fond memories with this guy. His name is Tim Wirtz. <laughs> His award included mule fight enthusiast, puzzle master, right hand man, and water warrior. <laughs> you want to say anything, Tim? Oh, yes. I'm making blue on the top of the cat because a couple of weeks we're going to leave the cruise on the 23rd. <laughs> I'll see you next time and next year. This award for 25 years, first camp in 1995, Amber Bigule. Her awards included Determined Hiker, Water Fight Master, Sweet Spirit, and Treasure Hunter. Do you want to say anything, Amber? So this next award uh, goes to a camper that I've known for a very long time. It's a 35 year award. This camper has written me a birthday card my entire life. She's even helped me as a baby. Uh, and she has not forgotten my birthday once. I have every card, still have them until this day. Uh, and this award, she's been coming since 1986. She's had awards such as My Fair Lady, Ginger Rogers Award, The Jolly Joker, and The you know, Storyteller? Yeah. Yes, as a star storyteller. And her award, this award goes to Sharon Cobb. Where are you, Sharon? I know I saw you earlier. There you are. Why don't you come on up? When Sharon first started coming to camp, she used to come with a group of guys that they, the group home was called Rainbow Circle and King of Hearts. And there were 35 men that came with her to camp. She was the only woman. And uh, they all would get off the bus. There's a picture of some of them back there. They all had the same jacket color, on, blue jacket on. And then Sharon would be the only girl in the whole bus. And she actually met her sweetheart at camp and got married at camp. And uh, we had the same week Coyote was born.
Thank you, Mr. Randy. Great job. Give it up to Larry Randy as well, the guitar. Perfect. And then uh, John, I think, what we got up next? Oh, and then, actually, this, this is the time. We're going to give out another award. We uh, had great plans to have uh, Sue Woods here tonight. She is celebrating 40 years as a camper with Upward Bound. And Sue has autism, so it was going to be a little uncomfortable for her to be here in this group. We did talk to her on the phone, and she said she'd like it if we put her picture up. We were going to do that. We're trying to do that still, and hopefully it will come on. But in the meantime, I would like to just tell you a little bit about Sue. Recently, the Winds of Praise uh, paper at the coast ran an article about Sue being 40 years celebrating life with purpose at Upward Bound, and the editor of that paper is here at this table over here, and we want to thank them for being such great supporters. They gave 10% of their newspaper income to Upward Bound. Um. <laughs> great little paper, it was great. Anyway, Sue has been coming to camp since 1978. Uh, we kind of grew up together. She came sometimes more than once a year. In fact, I have spent more uh, holidays and summers with Sue than I have anybody in my own family, even my children. And so we were really good friends. She's more than a friend, she is a family. Sue was there when camp first started, a rustic and primitive wilderness camp. She came on a bus from a state institution. Beginning, uh, they have been instrumental in providing. Where are you, Armadillo? Aslan, Europa, and Wild Rose. <laughs> All right, so these are some of our volunteers. Um, some of them were new this year. Some of them have been around camp for a while, as I understand it. I'm kind of new back to the organization. Laura likes to say I was the first volunteer that they hired back in 1978, and I'm always like, yeah, thanks for saying that. <laughs> but um, I'm so glad to be back. I came back uh, in January full time, and it's been just as an amazing, as an amazing an experience as it was when I was here for four years. I was only going to stay one week, <laughs> but I ended up staying for four years, and then I came back. I'm proud to be here, and I'm especially proud to know these people who come and share their time <clears throat> with our campers as volunteers and staff people in a number of different ways. And I just want you all to know that I love you, and I can't wait to work with you again. Thank you. Each year, well, I I came up, I lived in the area, so I was able to volunteer in the, the, after, the mornings and then take the afternoons off. So I always came in fresh, <laughs> brought uh, wildflowers in, and, and uh, so it was, it was really fun because I, I was able to be creative. I, I've uh, worked as a teacher's aid in um, special education. And so I learned, I got trained at camp year after year after year. And it's the most respectful place for working with people with disabilities and then going out into the community. And so I really respect all of Upward Bound and all the campers that came there. Then in the community, I worked in the community and I'd see our people out and about, and, and they were a testament to, to this, this place, so thank you. Before last, I came to visit camp a few times, and I got to meet these guys, and they became very special to me, and um, I'm so happy that they took time out of their busy lives to come and be here at this event and honor 
all of the campers, all of the people who work here, but um, I wanted to honor them for the work that they've done over the years. I'm so proud to know them, and I love watching them with campers, and I just want to thank you for being here as counselors, but also here tonight. This is a huge thing for us, so thank you. campers to bid on that are less than five dollars and they could take home and so she went out and got the grab bags over there so if you want to get a great gift for just a couple dollars that's the place to go she's the one responsible for all of that plus numerous things that are donated here uh, we've had a great fellowship with bridges over the years and i thank you very much Davis, would you come up here, please? This is also a woman of few words, but she loves working. And uh, she every year says, oh, I can't wait for the banquet to come. I can come. What time do you want me there? <laughs> she sets the tables, serves the tables, fixes whatever needs to be fixed around here. But recently, uh, Grasshopper and I were invited to a group of women who were meeting uh, it's called Life. Living Independently for Everyone. And Living Independently for Everyone is an organization of parents who came together to try to find solutions for quality living in the community that was not just sheltered group homes. And uh, they were having struggles and they called us to the meeting and they, they said, you know, we're not able to fulfill our goal alone, so we'd like you guys to help us out on this, because we still want to make that goal. And so they gave us a check for $3,600 to get started on this project to help solve some of these problems about living independently for everyone, forever, I think. Forever. Thank you. Obviously, our brother Garrett has been coming here for 35 plus years. Um, it's just, and as kids driving, we would drive up to camp with Garrett, we'd drop him off, and you know, we'd meet Laura and you know, all the, the campers and the, the volunteers at that time, also. And it was just one of those things that my brothers and I decided, you know, we were looking for uh, groups that we wanted to be charitable for, and it just, this was a no brainer for us. It was the first one that came to mind, it was the, the one that we thought would make the most impact in our lives and in the lives that of those that are around us and we've always appreciated uh, all the stuff that you've done for our brother Garrett and every year he just gets excited we're excited to be here about camp and all those kind of things and it's just one of those things that we we look forward to every year and, and love uh, so we appreciate and thank you thank you thank you